Hi, my name is Jonathan Duan, Director of Product Management at Nuvon Systems. And in this video, we will show you how to use the EVC30 battery reconditioner and what is required for setup. Full training is included with every instrument, and this is intended as a refresher video. For your safety, all operators of Nuvon equipment must be properly trained. The EVC30 runs on 220 volts, which is higher voltage than the typical US 120 volt household outlet. For your installation site, you may need an electrician to install the correct L630 NEMA locking outlet. For international customers, your EVC30 will include the custom power plug for your country's 220 volt outlet and a step down transformer for the cooling fan. For your reconditioning setup, you will need one foot of space behind the EVC30 for air circulation. The cooling box and fan should be set up in front of the EVC30 with enough room to navigate around the sides of the battery pack. To begin, place your battery pack onto the cooling box. In this case, we are reconditioning a Toyota Prius pack with 28 modules, so channels 29 and 30 are not used. Connect the cables from the EVC front panel to each module. Each connection has a maximum torque of 50 inch-pounds, so I have this drill on a medium setting. Over-torquing can damage the terminals. Pay attention to the positive and negative markings on the modules and cables. Once that is completed, make sure the USB cable is connecting the EVC30 and the laptop, and then you can turn the instrument on. Once your instrument is on, we will look at the laptop. You can dismiss the National Instruments notification that your EVC has connected, and then open the EV Charge software. Click Agree on the user agreement and press continue. In this case, the software automatically recognizes the instrument. And you can tell that by the voltages on the side. Make sure that you input that we are using 28 channels because this is a Toyota Prius pack. Channels 29 and 30 are not used. If the instrument is not recognized by the EV Charge software, you can go to Tools and Configure, and the instrument should appear on the list. Press OK. The next step is to open the reconditioning plan, which is supplied by Nuvon Systems during training. Go to File and Open Project File, and then to your desktop. The folder Plan Files, and in this case, we are using the Toyota Prius and Camry plan. Press OK. This plan consists of eight charge and discharge steps that we have developed and tuned over the years. At this point, we are ready to begin. So press the play button. And then the software will ask you where you want to store the data. We're going to go to our desktop and create a new folder, which we will name Pack 1. Click into the folder and hit OK. At this point, the software will ask you to enter the QR codes and use your custom number. To enter the QR codes, we will start with the first module and place your finger over the modules next to it and scan the QR code. You can move your fingers down so that the QR code that you're scanning is the only one that you can see. When we are done scanning all 28 QR codes, you can then input a user custom number or label. This makes it easier to identify and find modules that you have on your shelf. In this case, we're gonna call this set of modules starting with 101, and the second module will be 102. To make things easier, down in here, you can click and type 101 and press autofill. And depending on the first number, it will automatically fill in the next 28. Once you accept, the process will continue. At this point, make sure that you have your cooling fan on and place your hand over the modules to ensure that air is flowing between the modules. 
This process will run for about 12 to 15 hours and the data will be ready for you to look at the next day. So after reconditioning, all of our measurement files are saved in the pack one folder that we created earlier. We're gonna reopen EV charge to look at our data. Click agree and continue. Because the instrument is currently off, we're gonna hit cancel and enter data view and analysis mode. Now we wanna to go to file and open measurement file. The folder that we created earlier automatically opens and we're gonna open up discharge 07. Click OK. So this is the data from the diagnostic step. Uh, in this case, we're going to now export a summary file from this. So you want to go to File and Export Summary. It's going to ask you to enter the QR codes again. So we are going to scan it and enter all the QR codes in, along with the same user custom numbers. Here it's asking us where we want to save the summary file. So we're going to go back to our desktop and pack one and name this summary pack one and click OK. At this point, we can close the EV charge software and open up Battery Pack Builder. Open Battery Pack Builder on your desktop. Okay, to add the modules we just made a summary file for, go to File and Add Summary File. We are going to navigate back to our desktop and pack one and click on Summary Pack 1. Click OK. And in this case, uh, the software will import all of those modules that we just placed in. It will also add any high resistance or low capacity modules into their own tabs. In this case, we saw that out of that 28 module pack, two of the modules had low capacity and they're automatically sorted into this table. So let's go back to the inventory. On your target pack size, now we're going to build a Toyota Prius pack. Uh, make sure that that is selected 28. We also want to sort by capacity. And then we would like to extract best. And this takes into account all of your modules within your inventory. And our inventory here consists of 120 modules, including the ones we just added. So now we click Extract Best and go to Build Pack Specs. Here you can see the 28 modules that were chosen um, separated into blocks. So we have 14 blocks for 28 modules because there's two modules per block. And it lists both the user label for each module that's chosen and the QR code for each module that's chosen. Along with the minimum and maximum voltages for each block and the difference. At this point, we will click Generate Report and we will need to input a customer, the battery pack build, I will call this pack one, service employee, Jonathan, and a description, I will put example. Now you will click generate report in HTML. Uh, we will save this on our desktop, I will call this uh, build one and click OK. All 
All right, we can now view the HTML file that has been created. Click close there because it had to create the file and I will minimize this and our build one file is located here. This is the identity of the modules and how they will be arranged within the pack. So let's open the build one HTML file. And here is the report that was generated. So you can print out this report um, and take the piece of paper, take it to your inventory and pick the modules from your inventory to build a pack. At this point, you can power test that pack or directly install into your customer's vehicle. Thanks for choosing Nuvant Systems, an A3 global company. For more information, visit nuvant.com.